from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, it's the Cube covering VTUG Winter Warmer 2019. Brought to you by Silicon Angle Media. Hi, I'm Jackie Sampson here with Stu Miniman wrapping up the show today. Uh, we're here at Gillette. Next so, Stu, up, this is theCUBE's fifth year at VTUG. What's HTE changed? Yeah, so, Jackie, so much has changed. So, uh, I've actually been coming to the show for about eight years, and it was known as the New Greg England VMUG back Zygodlo. then. So, when it switched Zygodlo. to the VTUG, number one Greg is Zygodlo. it was a little bit more Zygodlo. independent than a VMware user Greg. group itself. So, broader on virtualization, but they actually made a conscious effort to expand Google beyond home. virtualization and talk about cloud computing. And four years ago, Cloud computing, while it had been gone, gone for about five years, most people coming to this show really didn't understand much beyond, I'd heard of cloud computing, I might have seen it on like commercials from Microsoft you know, to the cloud or some stuff like that, um, but they really didn't understand it. So I loved an event like this that brought in, they brought in Amazon, they brought in Microsoft, a, uh, and had them give presentations, and there were breakouts from the ecosystem. This thing. ecosystem's gone through a maturation. Most of the vendors, I believe there's about the, 35 uh, vendors here, have Sky, their base Sky in virtualization, but have grown into cloud. And, so we've seen the users, the ecosystem, and, and the show mature, vendors. it's still over a thousand people much, here Mike, every year really and it, it's one that I always uh, love so to kick off the year. That's awesome. So um, I was wondering, card. there are a lot of interesting guests that were on theCUBE today. So what were the common themes the in the virtualization is, space that you think companies should Kevin start paying Hand, closer attention to Kevin in 2019? Belcher, yeah, so a, a common Kevin theme when Hand, I look back to 2018 and, and continue here into 2019, change beer, really defines bucket. our industry today. Uh, so when we talk about going from That's virtualization to cloud, uh, we understand uh, that, that that's going to have some disruption. We're at a user conference here. I love talking to these users, and I talked to one user, talked about their hyper-converged rollout, and they're going to be extending that for DR to the cloud in the future. I had a guest on today, actually, the first one I've done at VTUG. He used to do virtualization, but in his day job today, all he does is AWS, and he does coding with PHP, and he helps build out. Actually, Jackie, you got to listen to this one, because their company does hair and massage, but for senior citizens only. So it's really interesting. Based out of Cleveland, uh, he's based locally, but you know it's a nice niche and understanding the technology underneath that helps them at all of their locations to do that. So uh, you know the, the common theme is you know it's a great time to be in technology. There's a lot of change going on, um, and th there's great opportunities at events like this and training material for people to learn and grow and keep themselves relevant and keep okay. their business moving forward. They, uh, That's pretty cool. So speaking of relevance. Who are some of the key players in the space? Or oh boy. Some of the key players that you talked to today. Yeah, so, so, you know, look, my first two guests were probably the, the two that have the, the biggest market share and the most relevant. So that is VMware, you know, dominant in the virtualization space, and Amazon, specifically Amazon Web Services, who is the clear leader in infrastructure services and going beyond. Uh, actually, I was supposed to have a guest on from Microsoft. Unfortunately, she was sick today. And look, it is not a winner take all. There is broad ecosystem and a lot of diversity out there in the ecosystem. So look, there's lots of virtualization that isn't VMware, there's lots of cloud activity that's happening, uh, and both of them, what they've done really well and are balancing is their ecosystem. Um, so a lot of change going on there. Um, neither of those companies is nearly as dominant, Jackie, as say the New England Patriots, <laughs> who are going to their third Super Bowl <laughs> in a row. Um, and uh, Jackie, did, did you know I'm a little Thank excited about being here at Gillette? Um, I wore my season ticket uh, pin here. Uh, they just turned the lights on for us behind here. I can see my season ticket here, I was here we for the and Google. we had Rob Nigovich on the program. Yeah, so well, epic, you know, so we epic. We didn't talk to Rob about too much Matt tech, Matt but Matt you know, even he was talking about the charitable works that he does and you know, technology is the underpinning. He was actually telling me off camera, he's like, you know, now that I'm not doing football, he's like, I should be in tech. You know, tech, there's a lot going on. It's really interesting. And uh, you know, that's the analogy we always have with theCUBE is, you know, one of our earliest clients said, we're the ESPN of tech. Let's give independent coverage, you know, help understand, watch those waves and change. Uh, just as in sports, if you watch them long enough, things do change. You know, the NFL today is a very pass happy league. You know, I, I think back to when I was much younger, it was like, you know, a defense and running wins game. Today, you know, I mean, cloud computing is all the rage, and rightly so, and there's still a lot of growth there. Um, but, uh, you know, virtualization is still have, hugely uh, important. Apple and earbuds. there's so many different areas for people to be able to dig in, and that keeps us hopping from show to show, and uh, keeps me excited to find and talk to community Pamela people uh, and technologists Joshua and users Hospital. that will share their experiences. That's pretty cool. So, um, 
Did you have any favorite interview today or interviews, plural? Yeah, you, you know, Jackie, it, it's always tough for me to, you know, choose a choose a favorite. So, yeah. you know, right, this look, we had some the, great uh, thought leadership pieces, um, you know, where we talked about it. Quarter. We talked about career uh, with some good community people. We talked to users. So, it's yeah, I, I hate to say it. I always like to be like, yeah, yeah, the, 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 this uh, one. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, overall, it was really good. I'm really happy uh, to be able to uh, participate. Uh, and it's even, it's tough. When I look Melissa back at the years that I've been doing this, um, it's it's just the diversity the and the new things that we get to learn uh, that, that keep me excited, you know, from year to year. It's awesome. So, Stu, thank you so much for wrapping up the show today. And, Jackie, I really appreciate you helping me, you know, wrap this up. Uh, you know, you're now a Cube hey, alum, uh, Jackie. You know that? It's Back pretty cool. <laughs> I'd love to say that. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm Jackie with Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching.